In this module, we are going to talk about the Gibbs samplings and its application in, Markov, in Monte Carlo methods. Uh, we'll, for initially, we'll talk about the, the concepts of Gibbs samplings and uh, simple Gibbs sampling methods and some case studies uh, the, that where you know Gibbs sampling can be applied. And then finally, I'll show you know how to uh, use the Gibbs sampling for Markov chain Monte Carlo methods that means especially the um, metropolis hastings algorithm under gibbs sampling methods where you know you will have a you know multiple parameters uh, of a bayesian analysis and you know, few of the parameters can be generated from gibbs update but few uh, distribution would be little bit complicated and uh, not easy to sample and the distribution is very much unknown so there will uh, i will show you you know how to use um, metropolis testing algorithm under the Gibbs sampling setup. In this module, we will learn about the Gibbs sampling and how the Gibbs sampling can be used in uh, MC uh, setup, Markov chain Monte Carlo setup. Uh, the name Gibbs sampling comes from a landmark paper from German and uh, I mean German and German. 1984, which first applied a Gibbs sampler on Gibbs random field. Indeed, it is in fact a special case of Metropolis Hastings algorithm as detailed in Robert Cachella 2004, section 10.6.1. Suppose we have a joint distribution p theta 1 over p theta k that we want to sample from, for example, a posterior distribution, say. We can use Gibbs sampler to sample from the joint distribution if we knew the full conditional distribution of each parameter. For each parameter, the full conditional distribution is the distribution of the parameter conditional on known information and all the other parameters. Say, uh, pj given pj minus 1 theta, that means pj minus 1 indicates the all the other parameter except theta j that is a full conditional distribution the steps to calculating full conditional distributions write write out the full posterior ignoring constant of the uh, proportionality pick a block parameter say the uh, theta 1 and drop everything that doesn't depend on theta 1 use your knowledge of distribution to figure out what the normalizing constant is and thus what the full conditional distribution p theta theta 1 given theta minus 1 y is and repeat 2 and 3 step 2 and step 3 for all parameter blocks Let's suppose that we are interested in sampling from the posterior p theta given y where theta is a vector of three parameters theta 1, theta 2, theta 3. So pick a vector of starting value theta naught. Start with any theta, draw a value of theta 1 say. From a full conditional distribution p theta 1 given theta 2 naught, theta 3 naught comma y then draw a value of theta 2 from the full conditional distribution of theta 2 given theta 1 1 theta 3 naught then draw value theta 3 from the full conditional distribution of theta 3 given theta 1 1 theta 2 1 comma y now update theta equals to theta 1 that is theta 1 1 theta 2 1 theta 3 1 prime and repeat the same until you get m draws with each draw being a vector of theta t and optional burn in and uh, and the thinning this is a optional you can burn in and thinning suppose we have data of the number of failures yi for each of 10 pumps in a nuclear plant. We also have the times ti at which each pump was observed. 
से वाई इक्वल्स टू सी फाइव वन फाइव फोर्टीन नाइन नाइनटीन वन 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 फोर ट्वेंटी एंड थ्री इज नाइन्टी फोर सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी फोर वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स फाइव थर्टी वन 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 टू टेन एंड आर बाइंड वाई एंड टी देन यू विल गेट दिस डेटा सो नाउ डेटा इज रेडी we want to model the number of failure with a poisson likelihood where the expected number of failure theta i differs for each pump so since the time which we observe each pump is different we need to scale each lambda i by its observed time ti our likelihood is then i equals to 1 to 10 poisson lambda i ti Let's put a gamma alpha beta prior on lambda i with alpha equals to 1.8 so the lambda i's are drawn from the same distribution also let's put a gamma gamma delta prior on beta with gamma equals to 0.01 and delta equals to 1 so our model has 11 parameters that are unknown 10 lamb, lambda i's and one beta so our posterior becomes the probability of lambda b o y t is this expression and the this can be simplified by this expression then product of i equals to 1 to n lambda i to the power y i plus alpha minus 1 into e to the power minus t i plus beta into lambda i into beta 10 alpha plus gamma minus 1 e to the power minus delta beta that is the now p del lambda i given lambda minus i beta y t is a gamma y i plus alpha and ti min ti plus beta and p beta given lambda y given lambda and y t is a gamma with parameter 10 alpha plus gamma and gamma plus sum over i equals to 1 to n lambda i so that now we can implement that uh, things in the r say you know beta current is 1 then lambda update is this function will update the lambda this is the beta generation given lambda so this function will uh, update the beta beta function and then finally we develop the gibbs just carefully see the gibbs development these are the arguments that we are uh, passing through is the number of simulations beta start alpha gamma delta yt barnin and thinning see beta dot draw equals to say one uh, column you assign null column and then lambda dot draws actually uh, you can assign as a matrix of uh, uh, matrix that is n row is n dot missing and n column is the length of y and beta current is beta dot start lambda update is uh, one function that we can define here lambda update passing alpha beta and y and t that will generate a random variable uh, from gamma distribution and beta update that also again you know alpha gamma delta lambda y the arguments in this function and that will return a random variable from a gamma distribution of the following parameter and then we'll use a for loop i equals to 1 to in simulation then lambda current equals to lambda update beta current equals to beta update then alpha equals to alpha gamma equals to gamma E delta equals to delta lambda equals to lambda current and y equals to y if i get at then barnin and i minus barnin uh, and thinning equals to 0 then lambda dot uh, draws i minus barnin by thin equals to lambda current and beta dot draws i minus barnin by thinning and equals to beta dot cut and then this and then the 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 least will get a least that will return the uh, lambda draws beta draws so all the lambda draws that will come as a matrix and beta draws as a column so that is the least that one first arguments for the least is the lambda draws and second argument for the beta draws that would return the function the gibbs function will return that value
Now see the results. You know, the procedure, say Gibbs N simulation is 10,000, starting beta is 1, alpha is 1.8, gamma is 0 0.01, delta is 1, then y equals to y, t equals to t. Then column sum of posterior lambda draws is this and the column the estimate of the beta is this just get the mean of uh, the draws then it will be beta then apply uh, the standard deviation to calculate the standard deviations you know you can just uh, use the function apply then posterior dollar lambda draws uh, to column wise standard deviations that will give you the standard deviation for lambda and this is the standard deviation for beta that is the uh, empirical standard error of that uh, empirical standard error of the estimate and next we'll see how image algorithm i mean give sampling uh, the the implication of image algorithm under give sampler it's, it's a case study that we are using that uh, the this case study uses a data set from a, a chandra orin you know ultra deep project uh, this is a time series of x-ray emission from a flaring young star in the orion nebula cluster the raw data which arrives approximately according to a Poisson process gives the individual photon arrival time and their energies the process data we consider here is obtained by grouping the events into evenly spaced time bins. Our goal for this data analysis is to identify the change point and estimate the intensity of the Poisson process before and after the change, uh, change point. The data can be downloaded from the source. So, we describe a Bayesian model for this uh, change point problem. Uh, consider the following hierarchical change point model for the uh, number of occurrence yi of some events during the time interval i with change point k and yi given k theta lambda is a Poisson distribution with theta parameter and yi given k theta lambda is a Poisson with lambda. Assuming the following prior distributions, theta given beta 1 is a gamma prior with 0 0.5 and beta 1 and uh, lambda given beta 2 follows gamma distribution with 0 0.5 uh, comma beta 2 beta 1 is the inverse gamma distribution 0 1 b2 uh, b2 b1 and b2 is the inverse gamma distribution 0 1 and k follows uniform uh, distribution from 1 to n The posterior distributions one can calculate uh, by this. Uh, this is the expression of you know five dimensional posterior distributions. From there, one can calculate the full conditional distribution for each parameter. For say lambda, uh, this is the distribution. For theta, this is the distribution. And uh, this way, uh, the for k is uh, this uh, uh, this distribution is proportional to this expression and thus for full conditional distribution for beta 1 is inverse comma in this form full conditional distribution for beta 2 is in this form so theta lambda beta 1 and beta 2 are all have full conditional distribution that are well known and easy to sample from we can therefore perform give some gives updates on them where the draw is from their full conditional however the full conditional of k is not a standard distribution so we need to use the more general metropolis hastings updates instead of gives update here so there is, this is the, that's why this example is considered as a implementation of Markov chain uh, metropolis Hastings algorithm under Gibbs sampling because this parameter you cannot generate uh, from a known distribution, it's com very complicated distribution. So you have to use a metropolis Hastings algorithm to generate a sample from uh, this distribution. So 
che i mean the data that i told you know they stored in a dot text file a text file and then that can be read by you know read dot table and the data file name and skip one equals true then y equals to you know this data that is chpt data uh, second column is the y and the time series plot of y is looks like this now r code for gives update so say k guess is 10 pass sample from full conditional distribution of theta give sampler update this this function is actually uh, gamma distribution so it is very much straight forward next the sample from full conditional distribution of lambda that is also gamma distribution very much straight forward and the sample uh, from full conditional distribution of beta 1 uh, that uh, that is also a Gibbs update that is inverse gamma distribution is very much straightforward and sample from full conditional distribution of beta 2 that is also inverse gamma that is you know one can use this uh, expression to do this very straightforward but the next one is the most complicated one is the metropolis Hastings algorithm for the K and that you have to use here say you know i'm developing a metropolis hastings algorithm for that parameter say y current theta current lambda current k guess and then n equals to length of y uh, current k equals to k guess and proportional um, the proposal k is actually is is uniform so i can take a, a sample from 2 to n minus 1 with size 1 as the sample form that is the pro uh, proposal uh, distribution then I will calculate the log mh ratio the log mh ratio can be calculated by this expression and then a general um, metropolis Hastings uh, algorithm uh, that uh, algorithm steps that are required are implemented here and then finally the return value would be the uh, current and the the acceptance rate the acceptance the current and the acceptance so now uh, I set off that full things within the give sampler that was the metropolis hastings for generating uh, the sample from uh, the distribution of K now here I developed the actual image give sampler where one of the parameters generated from uh, image algorithm and this n equals to length of uh, data m chain is the matrix that i define then k initial is flow n by 2 then m chain is this is this and then finally here is the actually uh, give sampling steps the current theta is m chain 1 i minus 1 current lambda is m chain 2 i minus 1 current uh, k is m chain 3 i minus 1 current beta 1 is this current beta 2 is this then current theta is this current lambda is uh, generated from here current k now here is, is generated from metropolis hastings algorithm r m h algorithm that i mentioned over there and then a c equals to a c plus r metropolis uh, algorithm uh, second uh, return value a uh, second uh, arguments of the list and similarly you can get the current beta 1 category current beta 2 as a gibbs update it's not metropolis hastings and finally you get the main chain and then this function will return the, the uh, full chain so call the function with appropriate arguments so image gives in that uh, number of uh, sample say 1000 and data equals to y so the mark option monte carlo uh, sorry, Markov chain algorithm ran for thousand iterations and the acceptance rate here is 0 0.11 uh, and the parameters that are generated theta lambda k beta 1 and beta 2 so k the mean of uh, this m chain value and that will give you the estimate of this and you also can get the median of uh, m chain value uh, now one can uh, plot the procedure of density uh, by the following uh, code say plot density m chain 1 m chain 2 for the uh, second one and m chain 3 for the k uh, uh, for k is a uniform distribution from 1 to k 
okay so this can be plotted by the histogram so that's the way you can get the density of I mean, posterior density plot uh, by the following codes and for a image uh, di uh, the diagnostics for hcf uh, m chain third because now only the uh, k is the image algorithm raystar actually gives updates so that nothing to be worried about the gives updates for dependency rather image is our main concern so the to find the pro, um, uh, probability that the lambda is greater than 10 you can use this and then you should see whether the sample from k uh, dependent uh, or independent samples you can do the scf plot and see whether the scf is uh, the autoregression values uh, are dying very rapidly or not by scf function if the ACF, uh, the autocorrelation values dying very quickly, that means you know you can think that it is going to converge very quickly. Otherwise, if it is not, then it it might take a uh, little longer time to converge the algorithm. I mean, this is all about the uh, Gibbs uh, metabolic testing algorithm under Gibbs sampling. So this this I think this is sufficient for you know getting the initial knowledge about. The implication of um, metabolic testing algorithms under Gibbs sampling setup, and also I included here the Gibbs sampling steps and Gibbs updates. So, as a whole, you know the the main purpose that this particular lecture will serve to uh, serve uh, to help uh, help you to understand about the implication of metabolic testing under Gibbs sampling. In this module, we have learned what is Gibbs sampling, how the Gibbs sampling is useful for Markov chain Monte Carlo methods, and how Gibbs sampling can be clubbed with Metropolis Hastings algorithm. And the, oh, finally, we did some you know, case studies to understand how the Gibbs sampling can be implemented uh, in R and different R codes that we have learned you know, here might really helpful to implement in prac in future in your study uh, either you know give sampling with uh, gives updates or you know uh, my petropolis hastings algorithm under give sampling setup